Hey guys, you may be wondering what you're looking at, and what you're looking at is a Subway $5 footlong. It is a footlong sweet onion chicken teriyaki on flatbread with cheddar cheese, all the vegetables except olives and spinach and sweet onion and chipotle sauce. What that has to do with this video is absolutely nothing, so we're going to get that out of the way. But what does have to do with this video is Zippo's This Is Another Zippo Collection update. And a few new things today, and a few unorthodox things, which, you know, aren't just Zippo lighters, so we are going to be getting into those right now. So I'm going to go right now and uh, show you two more lighters that my parents actually got me from. They went to a casino again, and they got me a few on their last vacation. So what I have here, I'll go in order, is... First one up is the Beatles Revolution. That is apparently the Beatles Revolution album. You know, you say you want a revolution. Well, you know that song right there. And this is on, let me see here, a brushed chrome lighter. Still sealed, of course. This went for about $29.95. Bottom stamp is going to be C10. There we go, we'll focus on that. So March 2010, this thing was made. And, oh, it says something on the back here. What's it say? It says copyright Apple Core, which is, I guess, the Beatles uh, recording company. And that's interesting. It says the Beatles on the little insert there. And in case anybody's wondering, this model number is 24832 Beatles. So, great. Gotta love Beatles, I'm big into classic rock, and I suppose Beatles fall into that group. So, that's the Beatles letter. Up next is the bullet hole. And I was just watching a Color Lover video, he actually just got this one too. <laughs> I thought that was pretty interesting because he mentioned that that bullet hole actually does look pretty real in this letter, and I have to agree. That almost kind of, that almost looks believable. Uh, this is, it's called the Toffee Coloring which is pretty much the same way, they, the, the exact same way they do the black ice coloring, except this is a uh, like a brownish color instead of the uh, the black grayish color of black ice. So that's what it looks like on the front. On the back, it is a street chrome lighter with the uh, the toffee finishing over it, so it's, it's street chrome under there. Twenty seven ninety five is the MSRP on this, and what's cool is they left the bottom untoffied. They left the bottom un uncolored like that, so it just has the street chrome silvery finish on the bottom, and that's I of 09, so September of 2009 this thing was made. And yeah, it does look pretty realistic. Uh, if I had to take a guess, that almost looks like a 22 hole. It looks maybe a little bit bigger than a 22 hole, maybe, maybe a 380, perhaps. I think it's a little small for a 9mm, so uh, perhaps, uh, but anyway, that's what it looks like, and moving on now, or did I say 380, I meant uh, 25 ACP, 380 and 9mm are obviously almost the same diameter, so uh, I meant 25 ACP, that's probably what that is, if I had to take a guess, but it probably isn't based off any sort of real bullet, anyway, so moving on next. That's the new lighters that I got. Oh, I'll give you the information for this in case anybody's interested. Uh, this is pretty much almost guaranteed it's got to be related to the BS Butterfly. If you watched one of my other videos, the BS Butterfly, uh, this is BS Bullet Hole. BS Bullet Hole. Uh, 24717 is the model number on that for the BS Bullet Hole. Great. Okay, now moving on, that's it for the lighters, but I do have a few other things. Okay, first thing I want to show you is what I got together in an eBay auction. Two things, Zippo, that I ha do not have yet. And, of course, it's not going to focus. Let me go get my little focusing stick. One second. Oh, and I came back and it focused. Anyway, using the, uh, the Phoenix LD20 for the focus. So, uh, I'll bring these up to the camera so you can see them. Two things that I do not have yet for Zippo, and <laughs> some of you may not know this, but Zippo makes quite a few things that aren't lighters. They make uh, knives, pens, uh, measuring tapes. Uh, there's actually a whole book of, I believe the book is called, and you thought Zippo's just made lighters, or and, and you thought they just made lighters, or something along those lines. And these are two of those non-lighter things that Zippo actually makes. Number one is... A knife. This is apparently for the Sun Spiced Company. 
I've never heard of that, but I like advertising. I, you know, if you can get an advertisement on these things, it's, it's usually a pretty good thing. Uh, you could see the paint starting to wear off the silk screen. It's not a sticker or anything like that. It's actually imprinted on there, and then the the little bits are filled in with paint, with orange paint and brown paint. And so, it, you know, it kind of reminds me like a, a logo for some sort of orange soda or something, like a cactus cooler. <laughs> that's old school right there. Uh, that's what that Sun Spice logo reminds me of. But anyway, you open it up, and you got yourself a little knife. It's just a stainless steel blade. Uh, I don't know. I don't know any specific specifics on that, but it says down at the bottom there. Hey, the camera's behaving today. I gotta give this thing props. It is uh, it says Zippo Bradford PA right there, up on the blade there, and uh, the blade's you know a little dirty, but what can you expect? Uh, not particularly sharp right now, but I can throw an edge on that. Uh, again, these are just gonna go in the Zippo collection. I don't plan on using these if I want to actually cut something. We'll reach for the tenacious. Oh, come on. On camera. There we are. But, you know, it's good for the collection to show the Zippo makes things besides lighters. And along with that, another non-lighter Zippo thing. And this is a just a slip joint, by the way. There's no locks. It's just a small, like, pocket knife slip joint. Anyway, in the same auction, I got this. A Zippo tape measure. Yeah. Zippo makes tape measures. On the bottom, it's like the bottom stamp for a lighter, except there's no date code, so I don't know exactly when this was made. But it says Zippo Manufacturing Co. Bradford, PA. And it's a tape measure. I think it goes out to about 77 inches. And you can see you can measure things there. And on the front, more advertising. Uh, C-I-N-T-I, -I, which I believe is Cinti. I think it's, I think, I think, notice the big I think there. I think that stands for uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. But I can't be sure, but I believe that's what Senti stands for. I could be completely off on that. But this is brushed chrome, just like the uh, brushed chrome lighters. It almost looks like just the lid of a lighter that they stretched out a little bit. Like you would put the uh, the hinge here, and you have the bottom here, and <laughs> that's what it looks like. But, so, tape measures. Zippo used to make tape measures. Again, just for the collection. Nice to have show again. Show Zippo made other things besides lighters. And now, as we're running out of time here... Not YouTube time, the memory card time. I only have about nine minutes on the memory card. Next, for anybody who has an iOS device, okay? You probably already know this, but there's two apps that you should definitely take a look at. I'm going to go real quickly here. And uh, Zippo Virtual Lighter. This, you can play with virtual Zippos here. There's quite a few you can get for free. You can buy new Zippo lighters. The flame, you know, goes with gravity as you would expect. Uh, it says you can blow the flame out through the microphone, and uh, it just vibrates at me when I do that, so perhaps I'm doing something wrong, but and then you can flick it closed. You can also open it by flicking your bick, <laughs> flicking your phone, uh, and it's also, if you press the I, there's also a, uh, hold on a second, oh, you click about... And then there's a date code. There's a pocket date chart, which is pretty useful for uh, for people. Pocket date chart in this thing. So that's that's useful. And again, something along those lines is... Uh, hold on a second. Z-date, which will show you the bottom stamps for all of the ages of Zippos. There's regular, and then there is uh, slim. So, this one was 99 cents. The Virtual Zippo is absolutely free, so if you have an iPad, iPod, or iPhone, you definitely need to go get yourself Virtual Zippo, and if you want to pay 99 cents, Z-Date, because they are very useful for us Zippo collectors. Virtual Zippo will keep you entertained, and you can perhaps use the date codes, the date chart in there, and Z-Date will give you a bit more detail on the uh, dating of your lighters. So, go out and get there. Go out and get those. And uh, quickly, before I completely run out of memory card time here, there's the new things. So until next time, thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day and keep on collecting.